much more stable. <laughs> oh boy. Sup bro chachos. Now in today's video, as you see in the thumbnail, we're gonna be replacing our front upper A arms. Do you know why we're doing that, Miguel? Why are we doing that? Great question. Glad you asked it, and I didn't prompt you to do that. The reason why we're gonna do it is because on GTRs, this space right here looks like caca poo poo. And on GTRs, you don't have the ability to adjust your camera on the front. Which brings me to our solution. So, our solution here is these upper A arms by Speed by Design. Do you know how much these things costed us? 10 bucks. Wow, Miguel, you think a GTR part is $10? What GTR part is $10? Not even the bolt on its butt is GTR $10. These are only a couple hundred dollars. They're super budget friendly. Do you know how much others cost in the industry? How much? A thousand more dollars at the least. A lot of money. And what is that? What the hell is going on? Are you not washing your face, bruh? Oh no, I popped a pimple. Oh, cool. Anyways, do you know how many degrees of adjustability these allow you to do? 180. Wrong again. Three degrees. Either this way or that away. So I was, I was on it. Yeah, you were only off by like 177 degrees. Like wow. That's a lot. Now what's great about these A arms from Speed by Design is with all this adjustability, allows you to get more frontal contact patch of your tire and all that meat Onto the concreto. I think that's how you say concrete in Spanish, right? Concreto, concreto, concreto. Sounds about right. Yeah. Right? I mean, you just add really an O to any word you're chilling. That's true. Miguel O is El Stupido. Oh. Sounds accurate. Wow. Anyways, these are super easy to install. All we have to do is do a whole lot of work to remove the factory ones. I'm just kidding, we don't have to do a whole lot of work. It's a couple of bolts and stuff and get the vehicle lifted. And that's about it. On that note, if you have not yet joined the Bertini fam, go ahead, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you can stay up to date on all of our future episodes. I almost said Bertini clan. We're definitely not a clan. We don't want to be associated with clans in any way, shape, or form. Oh, that would be bad. That would be bad. On that note, go ahead and roll the intro. By the way, bro chachos, we just purchased a motorcycle for our new build series. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned in for that because I believe we purchased the world's fastest production bike. So when do we get to ride it? We don't get to ride it, bro chacho, because I wanna keep you alive. And this is only for fast boys. But it should be here in a week or two, hopefully soon. Stay tuned in for that video. First things first, we need to get the GTR lifted up. In order to do that, we need our jacks so we can jack the GTR. And your big strong men. That's true. Where are we gonna get big strong men from? Okay, that's not believable. Oh. And we need some pretty gloves so that we don't dirty our fingers. Let's do that. Right now. But how are we gonna get the factory arm off? Great question. So. <laughs> Jesus. All my luscious locks of hair trying to get in my mouth. Okay, so there's a few things that we need to do. So the easiest way to do this is we need to drop the shock in order to get to everything that we need to get to here, all the nuts and bolts, right? So first thing we need to do is we're gonna drop this shock. How we're gonna do that is there's gonna be a bolt down here. I don't know if you can catch this in the camera. And I don't even know if I'm touching the right bolt but this bolt down here, and that's gonna release the bottom part of the shock. And then the other thing we're gonna do is from the top, uh, oh, let me show you here. From the top, we're gonna remove this. Oh my God, look at those titanium hardware. So beautiful, so beautiful. JD Customs, by the way, made our engine dress up kits super pretty. But we're gonna remove these three right here and before we do anything too crazy with removing bolts, we need to remove the electronic damper. What this is for is, you know when we're driving and I put it from let's say like right or uh, sport mode or race mode into um, comfort mode? Yeah. This changes those suspension settings right here. So we need to undo this, which that by the way is located right in here. It's uh, one of these cables right here, let me see. 
Yep, I think I'm feeling the right. Yep, this is it. It's this cable right here. It's kind of difficult to see, but uh, you just move this thing around over here and you'll you'll feel it. But you just need to undo that one, run it back through, like unfish it from here to here, and then uh, we'll be able to unloosen this. And then yeah. So first thing we're gonna do is we'll do that first. Then we'll move under here again, and we will uh, do the pinch bolt right here. We'll do the suspension bolt right here. We'll undo the brake line right here and then we could get to these two bolts back here once we drop our uh our shock sound gucci yep cool let's do it all right so this is the one right here this is the cable we're just gonna go ahead and undo the yes oh maybe yep i got it that's it now we'll just fish this back through here <sighs> like that now all we have to do is remove these uh these three bolts Just move these just in case because it would suck to drop one of these down there. Right, Miguel? Yes, it would. As we know, that is a really long process to get them back. So let's not do that. Now we're going to break the bottom bolt, which you're going to use a 17 millimeter for that. Definitely want to use a breaker bar for this one because uh, this is a bit of a pain. Miguel, why do we never use electronic tools that we got? Because this sounds better. It does, right? I feel like there's something soothing about a ratchet. That ratcheting sound. Now let's do this one right here and remove these brake lines. Then we'll get our pinch bolt. Man, is it hot here in Central Florida. I feel like I need an AC company to uh, come AC this garage. It's hot. There we are. I wonder if I should clean up these threads. They're looking a little crazy, crazy. I might want to clean up these threads before I put this back in there. Just a quick reminder, for those who don't know what he's doing, it's okay, neither do I. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh. I know, it's pretty bad. At least they think I know what I'm doing. No, not anymore. That's true too. I think that's how you do it. Just about. Got it. Time to change gloves. This right here has to get pulled out. Can't be in there because if not, this thing will not drop, which makes perfect sense. So that nut is uh, right over in there, right there, right up there. That's it. All right, so we've decided we're not gonna actually pull out this whole shock. And I just realized I'm actually on Swift Springs had no idea that I was lowered. Thank you, previous owner of the GTR. On that note, we're gonna leave the spring right there and that'll give us enough room to access those two bolts and pull that A-arm out and put the new one in. All right, now that we have the factory one out, if you notice, on even the factory one, it'll have an L and I'm assuming passenger side is gonna have an R. That stands for Ligma. Nope, nope, that's not what it stands for. It stands for Larry. Maybe left. That's true. But if, if the L stands for left, then the R probably means Roberto. Yep. Anyways, you can see the quality is significantly much better with the Speed by Design Kit. How do I know that? This is in black and everybody knows that black parts are better. So it's powder coated. You have range of adjustability, no adjustability. You have pillow ball bushings, caca poo poo bushings. It's just so much more stronger, heavy duty. On that note, now let's get a quick comparison of the weight on these bad boys. So here's the factory one. Put this on here. Ew, look at those bushings, bruh. All crusty and crap. Okay. So we have uh, two pounds, 10 ounces. Ew, nasty. Now we have the Speed by Design one, the beefed up. Let's see if we can get this thing on here. We can. And it's two pounds, five ounces heavier than that of the factory one. But that makes perfect sense because these things are beefy as hell with these pillow ball bushings and the adjustability. This thing is 
Heavy duty. All right now, bro Chacho, something really important here. So on here, with the adjustment screws that you have on the back of this plate, you're gonna wanna make sure that you blue Loctite these sum of guns and then you torque them down to 150 inch pounds. Not 150 foot pounds, but inch pounds. Because if you do 150 foot pounds, it's gonna explode. Like, boom, completely, just boom. And again, don't forget to use some thread locker, blue, lock tight, blue thread locker. Don't forget to use this stuff, muy importante. And for those of you who are looking for the optimal setting to literally where your wheel is completely straight up and down, that's gonna be that setting right there. So pretty much the way that it comes from Speed by Design, all purdy and stuff. Now we're ready to install this thing. By the way, huge shout out to Workhorse Performance for hooking us up with all the torque specs on everything that we needed and helping us get this thing installed and all of our suspension parts installed on the car properly. Y'all the real deal. Why am I on my knees? This is odd. Anyways, torque spec for the bolts that we just put in that are going to the subframe is gonna be 74 foot pounds. And then the pinch bolt that goes to the knuckle is gonna be 41 foot pounds. Thank me later. And then this bolt right here, or I should say the nut on the other side of this summa gun is gonna be 41 foot pounds torqued down, the downtown. Then your suspension bolt right, right here on the bottom, this one right here, that's 52 foot pounds of torque. Tighten it down or else bad things are gonna happen. And just like that, we're all done, bro chachos. Everything is back in place. All the brake lines and lines and more lines, everything is back where it needs to be. We have the ability now to adjust this while it's installed, which is pretty freaking nice because we have our adjustability right here. And when we take it to the alignment shop, if we do wanna change anything ever to make it more in or more out, where the next owner wants to change it, more in or more out for the track. They have the ability now to do so. Adjustability is all there. Really, really nice. And it looks so much prettier than the stock one too. Bruh, bruh. These right here, 28 foot pounds. And woo wee, look at these titanium bolts and titanium nuts from JD Customs. If you're interested, they sell a complete kit. Let's go ahead and get our wheel back on, torque down those lug nuts down to 100 foot pounds and move on to the passenger side. Although we ain't gonna film the passenger side because it's the exact same thing as the driver's side, bro chachos. Come on, don't be stupid. Y'all know where this is going. Let's go ahead and do it the passenger side now and get these fans back on. You know what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? We need to take this thing out on some high speed runs to see if it's made a difference. That's very true. Let's do it. Sup bro chachos. So initial reaction, this made a big difference. We noticed coming out of the driveway that it's significantly easier to reverse the GTR now. Whereas before it was a lot more difficult. The other thing that we've noticed is I feel like the steering is much quicker. Yeah, even, like, even when you were showing me, it just felt way more controlled and just, just better. Yeah, yeah. I think it's because of the science behind it. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah. Right? Yeah. I think it has to do with the rubber meeting the shaft. Oh wait, I'm talking about something else. I think it has to do with the rubber meeting the road and there's more contact patch now. So it's like grippier. Oh yeah. <laughs> now for the real test though. Let's take a turn and do it really, really quickly. Wait, what? Yeah. I'm thinking a five mile an hour turn. Yeah, I'm, God, hold on, I might flip it. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah. Jesus. So I we like G-force on that, oh my God. Right? Yep. We can totally confirm now that at a strong 15 miles an hour, this thing handles like a dream. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Now we need to check first 
our high speed because it seems more planted. Let's see if it is more planted. Uh-oh, this says the road's about to end. You know what that means? We push it. Yep, exactly, Miguel. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. This is way too quick. Oh, 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 shit. That was way too quick. All right, let's take this turn. This is a strong 30 miles an hour. Okay, okay. Solid, solid. Right, that was nice. That felt really good. All right, let's try it out. Let's see. Holy, oh boy, crap. Yeah, this thing is much more stable. <laughs> oh boy. Normally my GTR crab walks across the whole place. Not right now it didn't. Man, that thing gripped. <laughs> oh, I can't even imagine on the higher tune settings. Man, we'd really go flying. <laughs> What'd you think of that? That was, wow. That was crazy, right? Yeah. All right. I think we can confirm. Oh, shit. This is definitely a worth it modification. Check out links in the description box below. eventful yeah it, it was i think it came out uh i think it came out really good the whole like everything i feel like the the speed by design upper a arms absolute perfection they really were and the fact that it now is a lot more stable at high speeds is really freaking nice yeah i was gonna mention that too it's really solid yeah on that note we want to give a huge shout out to workhorse performance workhorse performance helped us out big time on this installation remotely because they are nowhere near Central Florida. So huge thank you to them, as well as huge thank you to Speed by Design for making some badassery parts at affordable rates because we all know there's this big thing called GTR tax that people do. And the fact that you saved us $1,000, I was gonna say by switching to Geico. That, well. Although that is kind of true too. The fact that you saved us $1,000 speed by design and making a much more cost-effective upper A-arm, we appreciate you. You get a thumbs up from us. Now do us a big favor, if you have not yet liked this video, go ahead and click that like button. Does us a whole lot. You found us useful or entertaining or you found me good looking or you think he's, well, that's a whole other thing. Just hit the like button. And if you have not yet joined our crew, go ahead, click that subscribe button and the notification bell. This way you can stay up to date on all of our GTR build series content and all of the new content that we have coming out. We have a new motorcycle joining the channel soon, so you're gonna wanna stay tuned in for that because we bought the world's fastest production bike and it's finally being delivered. You're gonna wanna stay tuned in for that. On that note, make sure to put good energy out in the world. Don't forget to pay it forward. We'll check y'all out later. Bye now.